Crews are dealing with a big mess trying to remove a big rig that smashed into a church. Hazmat crews rushed to the scene in Detroit when they heard the truck hit a gas line. 7 Action News reporter Nima Shafe has details now. Hours after that tractor trailer jackknifed and hit the entrance to a church, there's still work being done to turn off the gas main that powers the church so that they can safely move the truck and clear the scene. Dale Abricki lives several doors down from this church that now, thanks to this tanker truck, will need a lot of work. I ended up uh, hearing a loud uh, crash uh, right next door to me, and uh, I seen some lights. And as if the lights weren't enough, Dale says he heard sirens too, so he got up to see what all the fuss was about. Looked down the street, and there was a, uh, a tanker truck, semi truck, jackknife uh, right into the side of the church. The church, the Universal Church of Divine Power, a church that was in the midst of cleaning up from the relentless rains we saw back in August. Crews on the scene tell me the driver of the semi was coming off I-94, approaching Addison Street, and was attempting to turn right towards McGraw when he jackknifed and hit the church. Um, I just hope every, everybody was, everybody's okay out there. Hopefully the truck driver didn't get hurt. I didn't see nobody, you know, getting taken away in, a, in an ambulance or anything like that. The driver escaped unharmed. No one else was injured. Immediately, hazmat crews were dispatched. Diesel fuel from one of the tanks that hold fuel for the tractor started leaking. The truck also hit a natural gas line that fuels the church. A lieutenant with the fire department says now they'll have to wait until gas is turned off to the church before they can safely tow the truck and clear the scene. I know it's a bu busy intersection, so, you know, there's been numerous accidents here, but nothing like this. On Detroit's southwest side, Nima Shafe, 7 Action News.